You can hear conversations through the walls, footsteps up the stairs, banging pots in the kitchen when you're across the house. That's just life in most American homes. Walls are thin and the opposite of soundproof, and something always needs to be fixed. And most homes aren't even that old. There should be no excuse that they're falling apart. But why are they like this, especially when other areas have sturdy, thick houses that last hundreds and hundreds of years? It's actually a lot more complex, and the solution isn't easy. 1832, the civil engineer was tasked with building a Chicago warehouse as quickly as possible from the local softwood. So he got creative. Snow used two by fours to assemble hollow walls, several stories high. The method let individual workers handle assembly, leaving only one person to nail it all into place. Snow completed the warehouse in record time. The method was called balloon framing, and it became the construction method of choice in Chicago. But balloon framing didn't take off until the 1940s, when America was experiencing a post-war boom period. More Americans had money than ever before, and they wanted the American dream, a house. They could suddenly afford to buy homes in sprawling new suburbs, and contractors knew they could make a killing if they could produce enough homes to satisfy the demand. Balloon framing and its successor, platform framing, allowed contractors to frame houses basically overnight. But there was something unique about balloon framing that made it only feasible in certain countries, like the US and Canada, and not in Europe. And America had an abundance of super tall, mature trees. Plus, it was an easy and cheap construction material for the newly growing suburbs. Wood is sturdy, yet flexible enough to withstand low intensity earthquakes and tornadoes. In Europe, wood is still incredibly expensive because so few forests remain, and what they do have is heavily protected. So the average European home is built with brick, stone, or concrete, and they're many centuries old. These materials can be sturdier and safer than wood. A concrete masonry wall has a, shocker, higher fire insulation property rating compared to a wooden frame wall. One of these concrete walls has a fire rating of around four hours till it's destroyed, as compared to a wooden framed wall, which only has a rating of around an hour. Insurance carriers also have long-term data suggesting that homes constructed of brick are less likely to be destroyed by natural hazards. But in general, wood is harder to maintain. In fact, without maintenance, many houses won't make it to 30 years. The US Census says that the average American moves houses 11 times in their lifetime. That figure across 16 European countries? About four times. Since Americans are constantly moving their homes, they don't need them to last as long. They expect a semi-new home wherever they go because with the increased owner turnover, regular maintenance isn't normally done. It's easier just to rip it down and start over fresh. You can blame the job market. In America, it's much more common to hop around between companies. The opposite is true in the European Union. The World Bank reports that the median tenure of the average U.S. employee was four years, while the median tenure in the EU was 10 years. Part of that culture of constantly shifting jobs is moving to a new area to take that job, meaning you've got to move houses. So short story, blame George Washington Snow. Long story, blame the shifting U.S. job market. 